What's going on, everybody? After I've been working with the lovely Miss Kelly Gata. That's at, me. At, that's her. At Fox 43. <laughs> I've realized I know a bunch more about all these 80s movies that she has never, never even heard of. Never even heard of. Never heard of them. They're, she's like, what is that? So that? we are starting a little series we like to call our 80s surf stuff. Surf. Why not? Why? It's always surfing with you. Our, our, our super cheesy 80s movie review. Yay! How do you like that? Does that sound better? Yeah. Super cheesy 80 movies review. Super, super cheesy, super cheesy 80 movie review. 80s movies. Super cheesy 80s movies review party. <coughs> Dot com. Dot com. Yes. We're starting off this week with one of my personal favorites, a classic, One Crazy Summer. John Cusack is in this movie, and he was big in the 80s, right? He's still big. Well, I like John... He's tall. Jo- not Joan. I like Joan and John. Who's this girl? This is now <laughs> Miss Kutcher. She doesn't look like that Demi Moore anymore. No. That he- lady had some surgery. This is a good movie, and we're going to start this um, now. Right now. Let's catch you up here. John you? Cusack just graduated high school. Mm-hmm. His mom thinks he's a loser. His, his name in this movie is Hoops. His mom wanted to be a basketball player. He's not a good basketball player. So now she thinks he's a failure, so he's like, I gotta get out of here. So he goes with his little sidekick, who is, in real life, Bill Murray's younger brother. Did you know that? No! That is Bill Murray's younger brother. 80s right there. trivia. Yes, who thinks Nick Vitale looks like an old version of jo- John Cusack? I look like an old version of John Cusack? No, you look like back in the day. Like, you look like John I look Cusack like Cusack young John Cusack. Yes! Yeah. That's, That's way I mean. different than an old John Cusack, who's now like 40. As they're like on, on their way to the little vacation, they go to a gas station, and they run into this troubled girl who has a guitar on her back, who happens to have a barker, biker gang chasing after <laughs> being to me more. Who's that guy? If you don't know who this guy is, I'm going to fight you in my own house. The stupid guy? No. The I'm with stupid. I'm with stupid? You don't know who that is? Who is that? How am I supposed to? This is the 80s. Have you ever seen Police Academy? No. Have you ever seen... Hot, too hot to trot. No. Bobcat Goldthwait. No. Oh my God. <laughs> we have a long honest. trip ahead of us. <laughs> Bobcat Goldthwait. Who's Bobcat? When does this guy show? That's what I want to know. When does that guy show? I don't think that dude actually exists, other than the cover. That was like this is representative of crazy. It's just like one summer, and then you insert this guy. It's a crazy <laughs> summer. Another classic 80s actor. That's Booger from Revenge of the Nerds. You've probably never seen that note to self. She needs to see Revenge of the Nerds. <laughs> Someone's dying. Someone's, well, it's a funeral. They're already dead. <laughs> now we have a little more backstory. We've now established that if Kendall doesn't win the regatta. Now what's a regatta? Regatta, that's a race with boats. Okay. If Kendall doesn't win the boat race... He loses all of the money for the family. We have also learned that Demi's grandfather, Grandpa Moore, is dead. And he owned this retirement home. And Ted and his dad need that property in order to make their millions of dollars on their own so they can make things happen. But do they want to bust down the retirement home? Yes, they do. To put a restaurant or a country yes, club? Yes, or... they do. How did you ever know that? Demi's more like, I just love your drawings. You're a great cartoonist. I'm wearing my big balloon floral pattern print. Moo Moo. Moo That thing is pretty hideous. And John Cusack says, I love you. I gotta go. I'm mysterious. <laughs> you need to chase me down the beach. Maybe when I shave my head for G.I. Jane, I'll give you a lock on my cornrow. She looks like she hasn't had a bath in five years. She's the me more. She doesn't <laughs> need to have a bath in ever. It's hideous this. Apparently John Cusack takes it. Apparently the dude who I look like way, way older than him <laughs> digs that kind of stuff. Digs unclean women. Why not? <laughs> Another little known fact. What? She did all of the actual singing in this movie. Did she? Yep. I didn't know she could sing. That's why, well, she can't. That's why. <laughs> That's why it's fun. She does her lips like that when she sings. Okay, okay Nick Vitale. What? What's, what's the dealio? What's the Barbie dealio? Barbie girl. What? Brunette Barbie or blonde Barbie? Ooh, brunette. All the way. Even with her dirtiness? Even with her dirtiness. Uh oh. Barbie girl just flipped it on him. Barbie girl just saw her boyfriend and she goes, Oh my god! Hoops and all of his weird friends are chasing me! She set him up! That's why I don't like blondes. 
You're so stupid right now. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. I'm really sorry I went out with another girl tonight. I hope that didn't make you feel stupid. Yeah, Demi, walk away. Walk away, Demi. Whatever, she should have been like, I totally understand John Cusack. So he goes out with a chick on the exact same night he's supposed to go out with her. She finds out. He says, sorry. Sorry. And she says, you're not who I thought you were. Did he say, I'm not sorry? No, he said, <laughs> I'm sorry. But what's to say he's not going to do it again? Me. <laughs> so Booger came out with a great idea. He can't live without the trophy. They can't live without the house. Even trade. Even trade. There's only one thing that's missing. The boat. Good old 80s synth pop montage. And of course, I mean, they all know how to build a boat <laughs> out of left field. Oh. oh, let's give each other high fives. Like the way they just did the little fives. They just did like the most ridiculously terrible <laughs> fives. Just, just... It's awful. Uh oh, they're about to have a love scene montage. Dad, I just want to tell ya that I you that you saved the day. I just want to, like, you know, dangle my leg off this dock with you and listen to sweet, sweet piano music. You've encouraged me to wash my hair more than once this week. <laughs> Around the world, a brand new feet. Mm. It does matter what what you, what you wear. wear. Just as long as you are there. <laughs> Started. The Who's race has started. Win? It's paddle, sail, and motor. They win it, they get the cup, then they trade Teddy the cup for the house. The sail goes up and it says, What's the matter, you? And it's a picture of a big moose. You don't know who that is? You said Bullwinkle. It is Bullwinkle. Yeah, I get it. Bullwinkle's the moose. I thought maybe it was a college mascot or something. No. What's the matter, you? does not exist as an educational facility in our country. <laughs> Beckerstead, the the mean middle one, has got a, got a crossbow and he just shot down their sail. Their bowling goal She sail. did. They're stuck. What, is, what does Cusack have to do? The man who didn't get the basketball scholarship. He's got to no! throw his, He's got to tie the line up to a little ball. Throw it through. Does it land in the hoop? No way! It does land in the hoop. So Hoops, who hasn't made a basket the whole movie, Finally made the one that counted. Everything's 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 coming together. Come home, twenty year old son. Move <laughs> back in your house. Wait, how old are you? Said but to the <laughs> Here's a little trade. Keys out. You get the cup, we get the house, and everyone's happy. But then there's grandpa! He's not putting any money into their back of the states. The real investment is friendship. Yay! So grandpa has given to me back her house. And friendship. And friendship. He really likes her voice. And they're kissing again. And not the grandpa. Cusack, I mean Cusack. Yeah, yeah, grandpa's not kissing. <laughs> I love that this love story lasted all, all summer, summer long. long. They don't really focus on that. It's like, I totally made out with this chick for the next six weeks. All that for three whole months. That whole three months was amazing. And then he broke up with her for Barbie. Probably. Mm -hmm. Pure smart. <laughs> So you've just witnessed one crazy summer. We never saw this guy. I think that was just more of a graphic. Ever? Yeah. Um, this was a complete disaster. So what do you think? Yay or nay on one crazy summer? I mean, it is an 80s movie, and I have to accept that there's some things I'm just not used to about the 80s. It's not like going to be like the 90s and 2000s movies that I watch. I would say entertaining. I would agree. John Cusack and Demi Moore won and made out in the end. And lasted all summer long. That lasted all. Until oh, he went to college. Summer long. Then he got into Rhode Island School of Design <laughs> and was just straight up macking on like <laughs> artist chicks. Artist chicks. And was like, Demi, your dirty hair just doesn't do it for me anymore. Exactly. Yeah. Take a bath. <laughs> I'm getting my degree. Peace. <laughs> and then, then she married uh, a dude from the 70s show. Only after she met and married um, uh, Bruce. Bruce Willis. I forgot about him. Yeah. Good old Bruce Willis. Another 80s star. Was he an 80s star? <laughs> to be continued. <laughs> <laughs>